Hi, this is Carl with Blossom Hill California Native Plants and welcome to 2021. This year we're going to be posting just a few update videos where we'll show some new plants and some highlights from this year. After a pretty chaotic 2020, it's nice to have spring and a new beginning and nothing says that better than the silver bush lupin, Lupinus albifrons. In full bloom, it is the end of March and the poppies are out, the red bud is out, and it looks to be a good year for native plants. So let's, uh, we'll accumulate this over a few months and then post it uh, either mid-year or towards the end of the year depending on how much material we have So hope you enjoy it again. We'll uh, highlight some new things as well as uh, some highlights from uh, from already established plants The red bud is worth a Closer look. We'll take a look at this one and another one with the poppies in front the birdhouses nice view Here's another red bud full bloom we missed the late afternoon sunshine on this one but uh, really a pretty plant circus occidentalis you can see the, the penstemons below it getting ready to flower in the next few weeks and even a third red bud nice picture hummingbird sage salvia spathakia just starting to flower So with the, what we're calling the XL is of course much taller, doesn't spread as aggressively, has a nice tall bloom, about three foot tall. The Las Palitas selection is a much more aggressive spreader. It'll bloom, have more bloom, I would say, later in the year, but that's largely because it just has more foliage. And of course shorter, uh, probably taps out about foot and a half to two feet tall. Black Sage, Salvi Millifera in the rear, pretty much in full bloom. Salvi Spathaki in front again. Blue-eyed grass, Syncrium bellum, two plants. Nice time of year for blue-eyed grass. Ceanothus concha in full bloom just started. You can probably hear the bees on it. Two plants, one on the right, one on the upper left. Ribesarium towards the end of its bloom in the middle of them. Here we have the desert mallows and they really look nice. Of course, the apricot in the middle. There's a red on the right, and you can see the red blooms. And a purple in the rear, and you can just see a few blooms of that. Here's another Ceanothus, Celestial Blue, hybrid that came out of Las Palitas. Ceanothus conscious in the background. Celestial Blue is a little bit shorter. This plant is a couple years older than the Concha, but nonetheless, it looks to be about two or three foot shorter than the Concha. This bloomed earlier, so this is in mid bloom for the Celestial Blue. And again, tons of bees on it. And Salvia sonomensis in front of the celestial blue, just starting its bloom. Bees like that one too. So in this video, 
for this portion in March with a close-up of Ribes Aureum, Golden Current, and of course, seeing out this concha. Well, it's April 20th, and here's a quick look at the garden. A lot of things are blooming. Lower left is a volunteer penstemon, and the center is desert penstemon, penstemon pseudospectabilis. In the back, Ray Hartman, the tallest Ceanothus, and it's got a nice bloom on. Just a quick shot of some of the plants we've looked at previously. Uh, sulfur buckwheat, hummingbird sage, a penstemon, it's a volunteer, a beautiful plant. Uh, some of the others, a nice shot on a spring morning. Here are three woolly sunflowers, Iriophyllum linatum. On the lower left is a common woolly sunflower. Uh, later blooming. Uh, we'll try and get another shot of that later in the summer. On the lower right is the Siskiyou version of woolly sunflower. And the showy one in the middle is a species that was collected up by Lake Don Pedro. Uh, we are calling the Red Hills woolly sunflower. It doesn't quite key out to or can't figure out what species but we're calling it uh, Eriophyllum linatum, Red Hills woolly sunflower. Looks to be very prolific. It loves being here. Uh, early bloomer. Uh, we'll see how it does the rest of the summer. It is in shade here and I think it does best in full sun. It, it has a very harsh environment where it comes from, and you can expect to see this in the nursery next year, the Red Hills Woolly Sunflower. Here's a nice shot of Grape Lupin. This is ending, getting towards the end of its flowering cycle, uh, Lupinus exubitus. Uh, it's new to the nursery this year, uh, has done very well. A lower growing lupin then Lupinus albifrons and obviously much smaller. Uh, we've seen that in other videos. Uh, and a nice addition uh, to have this type of flowering, this type of plant, but in a smaller addition. Grape Lupin. Here's a shot of Golden Yarrow, two plants. A little premature to find them in full bloom right now, uh, but pretty soon this is going to be pretty spectacular. Uh, really a full sun plant that we put it in partial shade uh, So maybe not the best spot gets a little bit taller and blooms a little bit later uh, But it seems to be a very nice plant Iriophyllum convert to florum And here's a nice shot of Diplacus calicinus rock monkey flower not sure we got a good shot of this last year, so I thought I'd put it in this video. Yellow flowering monkey flower. I like some extra water and some shade. This is uh, the Shrinkium bellum sansimian. White-eyed flower. White-eyed grass, excuse me. Puts on a nice display. The flowers close up at night. Uh, group they look like look really nice Coastal sunflower This is part of the garden that gets regular water and these are heart shade plants that uh, like that Here's another quick look at the end of May at a few plants golden yarrow Coastal Sunflower and the Woolly Sunflowers. This is a Siskiyou. That's the Red Hills. And there's the common 
uh, sunflower, woolly sunflower, just starting to think about uh, blooming with a shot of the new puppy. Nice shot on a midday. Now you might catch the uh, sticky monkey in the back, Blackless Orantiacus. That was newly planted. This is a new part of the garden. And there's even a phlox, Lenanthus californicus. Take another look at that, a bigger version of that. And while we're here, we even have some penstemon uh, starting to flower. Penstemon speciosus, royal penstemon. These have small basil leaves, small plant. Goes back to almost nothing during the winter and then comes back in the spring. And this has just started its flowering. These are young plants again. Here's that larger prickly phlox, Lenanthus californicus. A nice bloom on it. This is new this year uh, to the nursery. And while we're here, Azure Penstemon, Penstemon Azureus, starting to come into full bloom. This is one that needs part, part sun, a part, little bit of shade during the day. So here's just another nice shot. Hummingbird sage on the lower left, Salvia mellifera, black sage upper left, lower right is Penstemon heterophilus, just coming into full bloom, uh, and in back is the Yankee Point Ceanothus, and a very nice bloom. Here's a nice picture for an April evening. Some penstemons, a volunteer in the front, blue penstemon, penstemon spectabilis. Here's the tall hummingbird sage, a little windy this afternoon. If you can see the yellow flower in Celia actini is starting to bloom. Nice picture on a spring day. Well, I think that's it for now. We'll post two videos this year, uh, one for spring and one for uh, late spring and summer. Uh, show you some of the new species as well as some of the highlights. And what a nice picture. We'll close with one of the favorites, Penstemon heterophilus, Foothill Penstemon. And it is spectacular as it comes into full bloom. So hope you enjoyed and we'll check back with you in mid to late summer uh, with the second video.